guys welcome to another vlog my name is Layton if you're new here I'm so glad to have you today is Wednesday July 26 and it might look like the morning time but it's actually 5 19 p.m. yeah this video is going to be another work vlog plus probably a day off vlog also oh my gosh I'm starting to look very pale <laughs> Anyway, yes, this is gonna be a work vlog slash day off vlog because I'm actually working two night shifts this week. It's been so long since I've done a night shift, so I was like, I have to document it. I'm gonna document it for the vlog, kind of show you guys my little like night shift routine and kind of what I do when I have to work a night shift. I honestly am a little nervous. Again, I really can't remember the last time I worked a night shift. I wanna say it was, it's been a long time. Y'all know I'm PRN now when I was full time, I was rotator, but kind of towards the end, I was basically just doing days because there were so many newer people under me that when it came to like people having to do nights, they were the ones that had to do more of the nights and I was lucky and was able to do mostly days. Y'all know, not a fan of nights. I struggle, it kind of makes me low key depressed. But how this all happened was earlier this week on um, Monday, I called at like 11 p.m. to sign up for the next day and the charge nurse said we actually have have too many nurses working until the weekend um, on days that we're short on nights so you can do nights so I was like well I guess I'm doing nights this week just trying to work as much as I can so I knew I had to sign up so I am working tonight today's Wednesday Wednesday night tonight and then tomorrow night Thursday night and then I actually have to work Saturday day shift so I literally have one day off which is kind of crazy Hopefully my body will be fine, but I'm like two night shifts. I can do it. I'll be fine. Also, they're short tonight and tomorrow night. So I'm praying that I'll end up getting the incentive pay. That would be super nice. So yeah. Okay, it's currently 525. I need to leave here at like 620. I'm about to make my lunch or whatever you want to call it that I'll be eating during my break tonight. And I guess I'll go ahead and kind of give you the rundown on what I do for nights. So last night what I did was I just let myself stay up super late. I can kind of be kind of a night owl anyway. Well, I don't remember exactly what time I ended up falling asleep. Maybe like two something, three. Anyway, that's what I try to do. I try to stay up pretty late and then I let myself sleep in the next morning as late as I can just to kind of transition my body. I kind of have like a normal few hours of my day and then I try to take a nap before I get ready. And what I do is I treat it like I'm going to bed at night. Like I do my nighttime stuff. Got in my bed to take a nap. What I did today, I went to sleep like around 3 and then I woke up around 4.30. So I took like an hour and a half nap. And I always surprise myself with how every time I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to fall asleep or whatever. And then I always fall asleep and end up taking the deepest sleep for these naps and then it's always hard to wake up by the time my alarm goes off so anyway i do that just to kind of like trick my brain to thinking they're like oh you know it's morning and then i wake up and i do my morning routine stuff like i make my coffee like y'all just saw i was sitting on the couch drinking my coffee reading my bible doing my whole morning routine stuff so that's how i prepare myself going into my first night and then y'all will see how I do it in between my shifts. Basically, I just sleep because I'm so tired, but yeah, I'm gonna pack my lunch and I'll show y'all what I'm bringing. I finally have groceries this time so I can actually pack like a good meal. I feel like the past few times I've filmed going to work, I don't have groceries and I'll be like packing random snacks and it's just so random. Here is what I'm taking to eat. I've got my ice packs in there and then I've got some strawberries and blueberries, my sandwich, some mixed nuts, this chocolate chip cookie dough, Lara bar, this strawberry fruit strip, and then of course my yerba mate tea for a caffeine pick me up and my water. All right y'all, then I'm also packing this little bag which I don't do for day shift but for night shift i just feel like it's important to be prepared with stuff because in the chance that you do have more downtime 
I just feel like it's important to kind of like stay busy so that you don't fall asleep and so that you can stay awake. So there's just less going on in night shift. People I feel like don't really interact as much. So of course, AirPods, I cannot forget my AirPods. That's the most important thing. I don't use these on day shift, but for night shift, they're a must. Um, some deodorant, a phone charger, some ibuprofen because sometimes night shift in the middle of the shift, when I need to go to sleep, I start feeling sick and it's not fun. <laughs> and of course, some chapstick. And then I'm also gonna see if I can pack some candy that I can munch on if I get bored. I'm obsessed with this little pouch, it's perfect. This is actually on my Etsy shop. This is one of my designs. I was super excited about it. I just thought that turned out so cute. It looks so trendy and fun. And again, I'll put the YouTube discount code link in my description, so be sure to check that out so you can get a percentage off. You got some vacation time. Hi you guys, I just got here. I am sitting in my car in the parking garage. I had my camera like low in the car because I'm trying to hide that I'm vlogging because there's just a bunch of people around. But yeah, I didn't eat like a big dinner or anything. I'm gonna eat my dinner on my lunch break. And I wasn't super hungry because I ate a good bit before I took my little nap, but I did just eat like a little Lara bar on the way here and yeah I'm about to walk in and I don't know why I'm starting to get a little bit nervous literally just because I'm like I don't know I just hope my body can get through this like I know I will but I don't know it just makes me feel a little anxious because it like makes me feel sick so I'm just gonna say a big prayer I always pray when I walk into my shifts it's like my routine whenever I'm walking into the building I use that time as kind of a little bit of a walk from the parking garage to the building and I just always use that time to pray I pray like the same thing every time before I go in just that God would cover my shift and all sorts of stuff but yeah just gonna take a minute to pray and ease my mind so I can be at peace before I go into the shift but... I don't know why you look so nice crying at night so want me to feel like I'm no want me to watch you do don't get you look so nice being a nice so look what you're putting me through I never do this to you I need to hold a corner and it's so I one time I'm back from my shift also, I'm filming this on my phone because I left my camera in my car and I just cannot find it in me right now to walk back to my car and get my camera. So yeah, um, I'm so tired, but I got to the shift. Um, I was in that separate like isolation room that y'all have heard me talk about on here before which I was actually glad about because I don't know, it's kind of nice during night shift when it's really short and things are crazy to be tucked away into there because you don't have a call time, you don't have an admission. Um, I had two ICU babies and an IMC baby. One of the babies was just a feeder grower. I was just having to wean their temperature to be able to be in an open crib. And then the other two babies were on the struggle bus. So yeah they were both really big bpd intubated babies that really needed to be transferred and yeah one of them was on a hundred percent fio2 basically the entire night and had to get a paralytic iv push medication every two hours and literally like the second hour after the dose was given whenever the baby would like start to wake up literally instantly desats at 30. I would have to like run over there. So it's really sad, honestly. Like it makes me really sad. We need to send that baby somewhere where they can get trained and all that stuff. And then my other intubated big BPD baby was just so strong and angry whenever they would wake up. Well, I came in to my shift. The nurse was like, yeah, I had to bag both of these babies multiple times today because they kept clamping down on their tubes and like their heart rate and oxygen saturation dropped like all the way to where they had to bag them so i was like great i was so anxious but luckily i didn't have to bag any babies they kept it together i honestly didn't really have time to get tired so my body felt good throughout the shift that was nice but now <laughs> it's hitting me i'm so ready to get in bed so yeah i'm gonna make some breakfast and then shower get in the bed
Oh, I forgot to say the most exciting part of the shift was that I did get crisis pay, which I was honestly not expecting. I was hoping for incentive pay, which is like the smaller of the two. I need to the corner, so I, I just I made my breakfast. Nothing new here. I think I made this exact thing in one of my recent vlogs. I love it. I just do scrambled eggs with chopped up spinach, cheese, and salt and pepper, a piece of Ezekiel bread toast with butter and strawberry jelly, and a cut up apple with, this time I have almond butter, and then I mix cinnamon in there with some orange juice. Hi you guys, it is currently 6:27. I gotta head to work. I'm a little bit out of sorts right now because of what happened in my apartment. I was gonna film more stuff for y'all in my apartment, but I didn't get to. I didn't get to vlog any in there because so I get home from my shift. I filmed that little update for y'all in my kitchen, and then I hadn't even like been into the rest of my apartment yet. So then after that, I walk into my room and I pass like the laundry room hallway, and there's water all over the floor. And there's water leaking from like the um, little silver water heater thing in my laundry room. And there's water leaking from there. It was like all over the dryer and like dripping down from that and like all over the floor. And I was like, you're kidding me. So I called maintenance and everything. So then they came to look at it to try to figure out what was going on. And then that took a little bit and I was so tired y'all. I was like, I'm so ready to shower and go to sleep. So then I had to just like wait around while they figured that out. Then they left. Turns out I need a new water heater. I was like, look, I really need to sleep before my next shift. Like, is there any way you can come back in the morning? Because he was able to get out all the water. So it wasn't leaking bad right then. Anyway, the maintenance guy luckily pushed it back to where they didn't come until like around 4. So thank God I was able to sleep. So yeah, I went to sleep at like 10.30. Passed out. I was so tired. And then I woke up around 4.15. And then... Plumbing and maintenance got there to replace my water heater and that took them probably about an hour. So I literally was just sitting on my couch drinking coffee while they replaced my water heater. Um, and then as soon as they left, I just like quickly finished getting ready for work and now I gotta head there. But that leads me to a life update. I wanna share with you what I'm excited about. Basically, I'm gonna be moving out of this apartment. So it's just been one thing after another, y'all. That has been the third water leak that I've dealt with and it's I'll fill y'all in more later with what all has gone on but it's just one thing after another and I'm so I, I loved this apartment while I was here for this two years but it's time to go and I'm ready to go so I'll be out September 27th so that means exciting new moving vlogs are gonna be coming so yeah but that's life also I was gonna wake up like go to my roof maybe do like a little workout and all this stuff Obviously that didn't happen because that's real life. Life happens and instead I had to get my water heater replaced. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, basically what I do, y'all saw, I just, I get home and I do like my nighttime routine. Then I go to sleep and then I wake up and do my morning routine in the afternoon. Um, I packed basically the exact same lunch I had yesterday. And I'm going to probably eat that like around 11.30 maybe. But I have this to eat on the way, so I'm not super hungry. It's just this Laura bar and then this chomp stick, which I've heard about these. I've never had one, so I'm excited to try this. Yeah. All right, I got to go.
Hi you guys, back with another car update. Today is Friday, it is 3.30. I vlogged part of my shift, I vlogged me getting in bed. So what I do when I don't go back for another night, I come home, I'll eat something, shower, get in bed like normal, except I just don't sleep as long. So I think I slept for about four hours. I was probably asleep by 8.30 because I was able to leave work earlier today. Got right in the shower and right to bed because y'all, I was so exhausted. Like the first night, I was like, oh, I'm fine, I feel good. Last night, by the end of the night, I literally was like dozing off. I was so tired. Um, got right in bed. Probably was asleep by like 8 30, slept 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30. Yeah, so like around four hours. Um, woke up around 12 30. Now I'll have like a regular rest of my day to try to get myself back on a regular schedule. And the funny thing is, I go back tomorrow day which I'm not like why did I do that to myself but we're gonna be good I have no doubt I'll be able to sleep tonight I currently am about to go to a coffee shop to edit some videos I had to get out of my apartment because you guys y'all know the leak thing was going on they replaced my whole water heater yesterday so I get home from my shift this morning and it's leaking all over again like it fixed nothing um it was leaking the same way it was before there was water all over my floor and washer i was like you're kidding me but i was so tired i went to sleep before i notified anybody so then i notified them so maintenance people have been in and out and i just i don't know it makes me uncomfortable so yeah that's what's new but i am so ready for my new apartment you guys i'm so ready on Tuesday, me and my mom are gonna go on some tours to look at the two spots I'm deciding between. Oh, my shift last night, you guys. Got off to the craziest start because I'm like thinking it's gonna be more chill. I get there, I do my first two babies because the other baby who gets wild was sleeping. So I was like, ooh, sleep. I'm gonna do my other two babies first and I'll come, come to you. So I went to do that maybe for eight o'clock in the baby's pick line, central line, that was in the scalp, was sitting in the bed. I see the dressing just sitting in the bed, and the pick line is 11 centimeters out, but still in the head a little bit. I was like, you're kidding me, am I even looking at this right? So I immediately run out and grab the charge nurse and one of the doctors, and that was a whole fiasco. So then one of our pick nurses Poor girl was in there for like hours trying to get a new pick. Stuck both the arms, they both blew. Ended up replacing that pick by like sticking um, in a catheter through what was left in there. That was just a whole crazy first part of the shift. I ended up not even like going out of the unit to eat till 2.30, I was so hungry. So yeah, I'm proud of myself for getting through some nights. After this, I need to go home and get ready for our team bonding for Grizz Girls. We have our first team bonding event. So that's what's going on and I will check in with you guys later. Currently getting ready for the team bonding event. And it's like a kickboxing class thing. We'll probably do something after as well. I'm kind of sad though because I can't like really do anything late. Uh, since I work tomorrow, I don't want to miss out. I think I'm about to do some little Dutch braids. I kind of accidentally taught myself how to Dutch braid. Um, when I was trying to teach myself how to fridge braid the way that I just naturally grabbed the hair ended up being Dutch instead of French which I'm happy about because I like Dutch braids better but the reason why I learned how to do or kind of like taught myself how to do this was because growing up for dance competitions we started doing our hair in like these front braids into a bun okay oh this is already looking kind of crazy I need to hurry, so we're just gonna let it be messy. Also, because I washed my hair when I got home from my shift this morning, so I washed my hair, and so it's very clean, and I was like, I don't really wanna just crease it in a ponytail and get it all sweaty. I don't know, this just feels cuter, and then maybe it can at least be kind of wavy, you know? Crying at night, so want me to feel like I'm old. 
want me to watch you do Don't get you look so nice being a nice Look what you put in me do I never do this to you I need to hold a corner And it's so I want to hide you I need to hold a corner And it's so I want to hide you I need to see 